Alright, for some reason, you people really enjoy achievements in Hearts of Iron 4. <laughs> but none of you even have any achievements. Little Timmy, why are you scared of hitting the Iron Man button? I mean, it's not like these videos so far have been like 20% brain numbing, 80% pain. But come on, guys. Collectively, we can all agree that the Iron Man button, okay? It's not that scary. It's the historical AI focus is being turned off that's scary. Okay, Mr. Gravy Timothy, if that is your real name. I was looking at all of my achievements recently and seeing what exactly I had and what I didn't have. And if some of them, I will have to say, are incredibly easy ones that I just haven't bothered to do. Um, like the achievement today, which is called... Pandemonium, which as a warlord be at war with all Chinese nations simultaneously, which isn't uh, exactly anything hard to do. You just declare war, really. Uh, I also don't have Sun Tzu Reborn, but that also requires me to endlessly grind a field marshal to level 9. Um, well, maybe we'll get it today. We probably won't get it today. So, of course, if I'm having to play a warlord, I have to play the best one. The most fun one. The Guanzi Clique. Now, what's the plan after that? Don't ask me. I do not have the correct answer for you at all. So I think the most logical thing to do is probably just to turn over to fascism and then uh, join Japan's little faction. And then we just uh, get into the war that way. Or we can do it manually uh, because everyone will be in the Chinese United Front. But of course, as usual, I must invent the train even though my country has a railroad network. He's on Gren, the smartest man in all of China. Oh god, what an absolutely cursed research lineup today. Trying to do a border clash while uh, the Japanese just declared war, and I thought I might be able to st <laughs> Oh no! It looks like everyone is in the Chinese United Front now, except <laughs> Zibidi Sanman, who are being unique. Alright, so we are now switching over our ideologies and also so still building up our country and taking our sweet time because for some reason we're making bombers. Right, we've just proclaimed ourselves a rival government too so we got the uh, new focus tree and as soon as I switch over governments I will attempt to join the Japanese faction if they'll accept me. I think I just kind of uh, <laughs> scanned my way out of a province there because the Japanese <laughs> just took it. <laughs> Don't mind if I do Japan. Right now Japan's gone pretty far in I think. I'm gonna go ahead and justify now. I haven't flipped ideologies just yet, but I want to make sure I start getting some war score before they uh, go sicker mode here. I'm also gonna try to steal one more province. <laughs> Never mind, we failed. <laughs> anyway, let's try that again officially. And they all joined but you now, so I'm just gonna justify on them too, in case they're too cowardly to face me in battle. Hey, you know what, Japan? I'm gonna wait Actually, no, I'm just going to straight up join. Uh, there you go, they joined. Achievement unlocked. Pandemonium. <laughs> wow, we could just end the video here. America? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't realistically want to actually do any pushing here. In fact, I want to wait and make sure the war goes on as long as physically possible whilst I use my bombers to rack up some war score. Uh, because we do actually want to attempt to actually get something in the peace still here, which I don't know if we'll be able to because Japanese AI is currently 97% and even Menguko has more than me. But I feel like Uncle Sam's about to reconsider sending me those guns after I um, <laughs> switched up a little here. Oh no, he's uh, he's still sending them over. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, this is one of the best things that they added with the new DLC, by the way. If you're uh, of the same political party as Italy, they do just send you stuff occasionally. I don't know why, but they do. So, I guess, thank you very much, Italy. All right, so our war score is ticking up. Uh, we've already got ourselves 3% right there. Strategic bombing, not a lot, but once we get more bombers, that'll go up, I hope. Uh, but we are taking a lot of combat damage because the Chinese are attacking us and the Japanese aren't really pushing anymore. I've never really bothered playing like this as a uh, Chinese warlord because uh, it's probably the worst way to ever do this, but I, you know what? Sometimes you got to experiment in Hoi 4. Japan has also declared war on the Allies now, and we are definitely not getting involved in that one, buddy. But that should slow them down even more in China. We just need to make sure that the Chinese don't get too powerful and beat me up. A quick interesting thing that I noticed is that, uh, well, 
the war's going pretty well for the Japanese. They took the Philippines very quickly. Not going too well for them over here in Indochina, but also Italy owns Norway. That's all I have to say. Although they don't even own Sardinia. <laughs> all right, so we now have 200 bombers, technically 198 because two of them just got shot down. And uh, I realize I could still do the subjugate the warlords uh, focus. So I'm gonna see if this actually works and they submit to me now that I don't have to, you know, fight them because I already have the achievement. Well, I guess, uh, I'm not very popular. So the year is 1943. Nothing has changed over here, really. Uh, Japan still hasn't moved a goddamn inch. Uh, I have gotten myself up to 9% war participation, though, and I will outlast the Japanese before I go on the offensive. Yeah, uh, so I guess like, the big disappointment here is there's uh, realistically not a lot to actually bomb. Uh, I have bombers now uh, <laughs> all over China, but they don't really equate to much war score just because um, I'm assuming they're not really repairing that much. Oh, uh, yeah, not looking too good for the Germans at the moment. <laughs> They've been split in half by the Dutch. Uh, definitely probably one of the worst ways to go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this just <laughs> unsettling to look at? Okay, you know, sometimes the AI does go on an attack. Uh, it doesn't go anywhere, but just from, like, them attacking me, this general's got up to level 5. Wang Dong <laughs> is learning a thing or two. Uh, I have also gone ahead and started working on some casts and some fighters, uh, because eventually I think we're going to have to push, because... I don't think the AI is going to be killing the Japanese anytime soon. Uh, but not before Tibet willingly becomes my subject. Right, so we have got ourselves up to 10% war participation now. We've taken 25,000 casualties, which is actually kind of concerning since most of the warfare has been going on with the bombers. Uh, but yes, 10% war participation for literally doing nothing. Although, in all fairness, the Japanese haven't done anything for three years, and they have 83% war participation. Oh, well, I guess Tibet won't become my vassal. I, <laughs> I got a surprise for you. <laughs> just gonna start bombing Tibet as well. <laughs> yeah, isn't it kind of weird that the AI is just like perfectly avoided the Sudetenland there? I'm assuming it's just because of all the forts they're not gonna attack into it, but it's just weird to look at. And also, yeah, speaking of weird to look at, you know, the AI can do a nice bit of art right there, but then you, <laughs> you look at this. All right, so I'm gonna ramp down my production on the bombers now. So we've only got five on there. We'll start making some mechanized and then we're gonna do our great push against the Chinese and see if we can end this war um, and hopefully get more war score because it'd be very sad if all this goes to the Japanese now all right Tibet said no, but will Japan? Japan will not. Oh, here we go. This might make it way more interesting for us. The uh, Soviets just declared war on the Japanese, so maybe they'll sweep them out of China. Um, I just want to say again, this is a absolutely terrible way to play. <laughs> Don't ever do what I'm doing. Oh, also, just come back to Europe. What the hell happened to Europe? <laughs> also, just, you know, casually award the Soviets as well. So, <laughs> you know, World War Three started early. So Soviet Romania has capitulated. <laughs> Great news! These are dark times. Uh, you know, I, I did think that the Soviets uh, going to war with the Japanese might be helpful towards me, but it definitely isn't when they're currently losing to the Allies over here. Oh, okay. But that might mean something good. Okay, if the AI doesn't choke this invasion, we may be in for a very good time right now. I just realized the absurdity of the fact that I can fortify Shanghai. I can add one land fort to Shanghai. <laughs> I don't even own it. Uh, so I'm just uh, casually moving up to take this whole state here because if the Japanese do capitulate, I need building slots and it does look like they're going to capitulate. Uh, yeah, because I, I ran out of places to build a long time ago, although I could put one more factory there. There you go. You know, it, it doesn't look too good for the allies, I won't lie. Um, they have no supply over here. Oh yeah, they are. They are definitely getting pushed back into the sea right now. Uh, I really hope they can hold on because uh, the Japanese for some reason have suddenly woken up and realized they can push in China. The Mali Democratic Republic has capitulated. Great news! <laughs> it also capitulated to Turkey! God, just... The <laughs> what? <laughs> it's everything about this. Just... P-Koi 4 AI! Oh. Oh, no. 
Yep, they just capitulated to the the Russian Federation. Well, they didn't even. They just got freed of Russia. Well done. <laughs> oh, apparently the common turns still around too. Uh, looking stronger than ever as well. What's <laughs> Bulgaria over here? <laughs> okay, well Bulgaria's in the <laughs> the great East Asian co-prosperity sphere with me. All right, now we just have to hope that AI puts all of their effort now onto Japan, which we all know they won't do. And would you look at that, look, I can ask for Shanghai. I can finally fortify Shanghai. I, I don't, why is America doing this? Why, <laughs> why have you put 55 units in Hong Kong? I get it, all right? I'm technically one of the bad guys here, but I. <laughs> this is unnecessary. How are the AI losing so badly? Come on, guys, you can do it. Stop losing. I just, I don't think there are really words for what the AI is cooking today. Uh, but I can tell you, it sure as hell does not taste good. Oh. The AI developed a brain cell for a second there. They stopped endlessly attacking and reorged, and they actually managed to get some red bubbles for a second. Uh, didn't go too well after that, though. Okay, nice. The UK's invading as well. We're getting some momentum going. Just not on this front that has not moved. In fact, no, no, that's not correct. The front has moved over here. It's just moved further north from where it was down here. I, I gotta say, it is astonishing after watching everything right now, just how bad the AI is struggling. They just straight up naval invaded uh, the port there, they walked off it into Tokyo, and <laughs> now they're dying. Uh, if Anyone is just ever scared of the threat that AI might pose upon the world and our destruction? Just, just show them this video. They'll soon sleep soundly. I, I just realized as well that the, uh, the Soviets still exist over here. <laughs> there he is. Okay, they finally did it, and that, oh, that is a large China. Okay, time to attack and finally win the war. So yeah, guys, this is my guide on how to easily win uh, unifying China as the third Guanzi clique. As you can see, you just have to wait until 1948. Oh, well, I guess we've been uh, playing that long in the game, huh? I think we're getting into bizarro territory, because I swear, I just saw Germany declare war on Poland. Okay, Germany just declared war on Poland, and also Germany is huge. Never play past 1945, worst mistake of my life. Is this like, having to walk into the land that I've been furiously bombing for like <laughs> 10 years at this point? I, I can see <laughs> a lot of damage. Okay, what is what is going on in the world? Why, why is Italy in a civil war? I think I missed something crucial over here with Romania because uh, <laughs> Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore. I just want to say, if anything terrible happens to Taiwan in the next 10 years, don't come back to this video and claim I predicted it happened. Oh, there you go, China finally capitulated. I may have been deliberately taking my time with that because, um of a nuclear joke. Uh, but that, oh, we have to take out Xinjiang as well. Okay, I didn't even know they were that powerful. You know, you know like Belfisky said, had like speed achievements. What's the opposite of a speed achievement? <laughs> because this is kind of what this has turned into. I, I, technically we got the achievement ages ago anyway. <laughs> so everything else has been completely unnecessary. Well, unnecessary or not, we have finally completed our challenge of the slowest unification of China possible. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes, I guess, you just have to do it to them. And look at our beautiful country. It is aesthetically pleasing. But yes, that was us completing one single Hoi4 achievement at a record pace. Uh, still, though, it was incredibly fun uh, with my weird strat of strat bombing and everything else that happened in the game. Uh, would I recommend doing this? No, <laughs> not at all. Uh, but, you know, in a way, it is incredibly fun. And uh, I do recommend checking out the, uh, the Guanzi clique. Maybe not doing this strap, but doing the one I showed off in, I think, my, uh, my Hoi 4 A to Z, where I, I took all the states independently, then switched over. Because they are incredibly powerful, especially if you unify China pretty early, which... Uh, 1951, I guess that's pretty early. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video, little Timothy's, feel free to leave a like at the subscribe button down below and get into Iron Man today and have fun with achievements. Believe me, you'll have more fun in this game if you give yourself a goal, like... Uh, uh, the little uh, picture that pops up in the bottom left corner. Wow. Uh, but yes, anyway, goodbye.